In the shadows of where the greats of the past are enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame, the stars of tomorrow have come to play. Blake Arena on the campus of Springfield College is once again the epicenter of high school basketball with the Hoop Hall Classic. Tonight, a top 15 matchup between DeMatha Catholic out of Maryland and Montford. Matt Schick along with National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. The game's coming up. Again, we just saw a classic between uh, when we saw Oak Hill get the win over La Lumiere, DeMatha and Montford. National out of Maryland take on AZ Compass. Calvary Christian and Camden straight ahead. Matt Schick, National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. And Paul, a top 15 matchup. It combined 10 ranked players that we're about to see, seven of whom have already signed with major conference teams. And let's take a look at Derek Whitehead from Montford first. Number five in the ESPN 100. He is a big time athlete with major versatility. The three point shot is much improved, but he is best out in transition, driving the basketball in the half court. He's added the float game, and he's a terrific playmaker. On the other side for DeMatha, Rodney Rice, ESPN top 50 prospect, and a big time three point shooter. Rice can fill it up from deep. He's got great balance, shot preparation, and excellent touch once he gets to the rim. He signed with Virginia Tech. Rice with Virginia Tech, Whitehead signed with Duke and Montford, just a national powerhouse. It was last year where they had their 44 game win streak snapped in the hands of Sunrise Christian. And earlier this week, they snapped Camden's 44 game win streak. That happened on Thursday night. This is the third game of our ESPN coverage, third of 13 and 30 total games being played here at the Hoop Hall Classic. 40 players ranked in the ESPN 100. A handful of those on display on the floor right now between Montverde and DeMatha. Unable to play in the Hoop Hall Classic last year because of COVID. The event was canceled. We're back and better than ever with 60 ranked players amongst the sophomore, junior, and senior class. Matt Schick, Paul Biancardi, and Montverde with the basketball. It's Jalen Hootshafino with the ball. What are you looking for here early, Paul? Malik Renault inside. That'll How about do it. that move? Kevin Boyle thought he had a mismatch, went to it. Saw Derek Whitehead on the left side. Beautiful give up. Just a Montverde team that comes at you in waves. A lot of top end talent and a lot of depth. Jarrell Roberson misfires. Good Shafino. Very smooth off glass and the follow. That's Dylan Mitchell. Get to know Dylan Mitchell, 23 in the white. He is a freakish athlete. The Texas signee with the jam. We mentioned Rice off the top. He is headed to Virginia Tech. Guy Clark, that one is pure for the cont With his left hand. Whitehead. Not sure how you defend that. That's the Duke signing number five in the ESPN 100. The number one small forward. Big time athlete, has great elevation on his jump shot. And he gets to it quick. Jaden Mustaf gets the roll there. Got some mid-major and high-major attention. The small forward from Hyattsville, Maryland. It's Sky Clark to the rack and the reverse lay-in. He tore his ACL at the beginning of the 2021 AAU season. Just coming back into form. And that's a great, great start for the senior point guard. And Sky Clark did a great job. How about that dunk? Terrell Ward with the dunk, the two-handed flush. Still a nine-point lead for Montverde. Ward headed to Xavier. And DeMatha in a 1-3-1 zone. Pete Strickland wants to try to slow this game down. Jalen Hood, Shafino with the alley-oop to Mitchell. Well, you can't slow the game down unless you rotate. Doesn't matter what defense you're in. How about that find and finish? 
Rodney Rice off the front of the iron. No. Here's Sky Clark in transition. Nearly had. He had Dylan Mitchell wide open. But a good defensive play there made by the Stags. And the three ball at the other end. Rick Whitehead. Little floater, nearly a follow slam. Here comes DeMatha. Two on one. Scoop shot and the foul. Terrell Ward, the Xavier signee, and maybe that'll jumpstart this Stags team. Ward in transition. He's long, he's athletic. It shows great body control. Sky Clark had the right idea, just got there way too late. 55 in the ESPN 100. Eric Quaid, number. I think that's good. Hit some game winners. Sky Clark. Woo. By Montverde. If you're DeMath, you got to respond to that. Good defense there by the Stag. Nice feed inside for the slam for Mitchell. Third time's the charm above the rim for the Texas signee. And that's what Jalen Hood Shafino does best. Get into the paint with a low shoulder, finish or find. Jaden Mustaf. Championships. Quick three. Ward is good. Rivet in and out. They are about halfway down each time from long range. See if they can take advantage. Ward again. He's an energizer as they go. As he goes, they go. And right now, things are going pretty well. Six point deficit. And Pete Strickland has him at the top of the press to try to get some deflections. Sky Clark. Wide open three. Didn't even graze the rim. No coverage, no rotation. DeMatha looks tired. Mark's got 11 points to lead all score. DeMatha having to work for all of their shots. And four mistakes in the first half. It hasn't been their turnovers. Their three-point shooting has been really good. It's their two-point tries. That three-point shot is no good. Nice rebound. No. And DeMatha with another opportunity. Rodney Rice, the kick to war. That three is good. Nice feet down low off the glass and in. I think Mustafa had a little bit of a hook that time in the post, got away with it. Three ball is there. It has been there if they want it. And they are taking advantage. Jalen Hood Shafina. Great job of recruiting the current roster. Trace Jackson Davis, Race Thompson, bunch of guys that are playing well now. Recruited the current roster and doing a good job of recruiting the future Hoosier roster as well. A lot to recruit to at Assembly Hall. Tradition, fan base, conference. Wow. Look it up here for Montverde. Put Shafino upstairs. Jalen Hood Shafina, very just smooth step back, Jay. And now here's DeMatha Catholic with a chance, set a run out. And a steal. DeMatha. Oh, what a block by Dylan Mitchell. Comes Defense. out of nowhere. Offense. Inside for the Stags, but just amongst the trees and the big men for Montverde. I'll tell you what, the effort by DeMatha Catholic has been really strong in this game. On the glass, they're there defensively, but the talent of Montverde sometimes can just take over a game. And so can't Derek Whitehead. Derek Whitehead with the three. The Duke signee has nine points. Just a balanced effort here for Montverde. With seven minutes to go here in the fourth. Terrell Ward with a nice post up on Queen. Use this quickness to get the shot off. Yeah. 
Another nylon, that's K.J. Evans. Junior power forward, number three in the ESPN 60, top power forward. Uncommitted at this point. Haven't called his name much. That speaks to the depth of this team. And on a team full of upside, K.J. Evans <laughs> is almost at the top of that list. I put Dylan Mitchell and Derek Whitehead in front of him. Evans, a prospect. The ball is good there for the Stags. Well, Roberson, the James Madison signee, picked JMU in September over schools like Charlotte, ECU. ECU with a big buzzer beater win today, by the way, over Memphis. Oh, he's just feeling it. On defense, they usually blow teams out by double figures. Issues the block as you look at this top small forwards. Derek Whitehead is there. Renew gets paid off at the oh, other end. Continue to improve and try to find things to work on. And as you mentioned it, early workouts, staying late, off-season development. Great pass by Whitehead Pretty again. Unselfishness there from Whitehead. Had the open J near the elbow. Now I'm just going to pass it to the, the guy who's wide open and get an easier bucket. And Derek Whitehead has learned how to lead this year. Had a little bump against Sunrise. Another great finish by Dylan. Sent a message to both of those guys, and they responded beautifully. That came off the bench, the ensuing game there at the Laporte Invitational. And have responded. Could be a turning point here for this team and those two guys individually. 21-point margin here. Here's Sky Clark. Kentucky signee ahead. And the follow. That's Jalen Hood Shafino, the Indiana signee. Jaden. Would be a flash every once in a while. They should be better, but and they are. But they really put an emphasis on recruiting and scheduling and getting better, and they've done it. Because they put an emphasis on hiring high-level head coaches. Yep. When, when the SEC hired John Calipari, it raised the bar for every other coach in terms of recruiting. He went to the one and done first. He became a master of it. It led him to a national. Good, good start to the weekend for Montverde. Yeah, DeMatha gave it all they could. They just ran into a Titan who's trying to get two more points. And to finish with the flush for Montverde is Jalen Hood Shafino who will finish with 11 points, five in double figures for Montverde as they put up 86. Yeah, DeMath is going to be okay in the WCAC. They ran into a team in Montverde that was possessed this afternoon. Shows you the upside in Montverde. When they defend, they have finishers and scorers. Derek Whitehead led the way. Sky Clark was fantastic. And Dylan Mitchell just lives above the rim. Thanks to everyone for helping us out today. We got two more games to go. It was all Montverd. Dylan Mitchell with 22, Renu with 14. Renu, excuse me, Whitehead with 14, and Clark with 11. For Paul Biancardi, I'm Matt Schick. We'll see you in a little bit for our next matchup from the Hoop Hall Classic on ESPN+. Plus.